This video details the synthesis of luminol. 5 amino 2 3 dihydro 1 4 thousand diol. First step is to measure 4.2 grams of 3 nitrophthalic acid. We add this 3 nitrophthalic acid to a round bottom flask in a reaction block under a fume. 8.8 milliliters of hydrazine should be measured out and added to the reaction vessel. And the reaction vessel should then be heated until the solid dissolves completely. 12 milliliters of triethylene glycol should be added to the mixture. And the mixture should then be heated to between 215 to 220 degrees Celsius and maintained at that temperature for two minutes. The mixture should then be allowed to cool to 100 degrees Celsius and crystals may become visible. We then add 60 milliliters of boiling water to the mixture. We cool the round bottom flask using cool tap water and separate out the nitro compound using vacuum filtration. We may then return the nitro compound to the reaction vessel. Add 20 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide to the mixture. Add 12 grams of sodium dithionite to the mixture. Wash the solid down the walls of the round bottom flask with some water. Heat the reaction mixture to boiling and continue to heat for 5 minutes. We may then remove the round bottom flask from the reaction block and place on a small cork ring. We turn off the reaction block and allow cooling. The next step is to add 8 milliliters of glacial acetic acid to the reaction mixture. We then cool under tap water and collect the light yellow precipitate, which is our luminol, using vacuum filtration. We next want to prepare two stock solutions. Stock solution A, dissolve 60 to 100 milligrams of moist luminol in 4 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide and 36 milliliters of water in a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. For stock solution B, we mix 8 milliliters of 3% potassium ferrous cyanide, 8 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide, and 64 milliliters of water using a 150 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We dilute 10 milliliters of stock solution A with 35 milliliters of water using a 60 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. And in a dark place, pour this solution in stock solution B simultaneously into a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We may swirl the flask to increase the brilliance. 